guys, it's uh, William again from Ultimate Exposure. Um, we did a review on the Bark Ranger and this is a update on some of the concerns and stuff that we were worried about. So at the point when we did the review, we had just finished the Dalton Highway, so Pruda Bay to Fairbanks, which is probably about 500 miles. And um, there was concerns. I was worried about the zippers, I was worried about the Velcro, uh, worried about the floor of the, the Burley Bark Ranger. Um, so I just wanted to go through because now we're back in the lower 48. So we've done approximately about 2,500 miles on this and we have a very large gray wolf slash Malamute dog that rides in this. And so we'll just start off with where we're at. So one of the things I was really worried about was the, the zippers and how well they would hold up. Um, so from Fairbanks down to back down to Washington, I didn't do any conditioning or anything on the zippers and actually the zippers are still working very well. Um, no issues with the zippers. Uh, the, new, the new clip here, uh, I haven't had any issues with the replacement clip that I had to get that holds the, the frame together and whatnot. So, so that's been good, uh, no issues. Uh, also, one of the other issues that we were worried about was, was all the Velcro um, that the, the cart had on it. So again, we haven't washed it. We haven't done anything. We literally just got here, unloaded everything, got into a hotel, and everything is still good. All the Velcro still looks really good. Everything's holding up well. All the zippers are holding up uh, very well. Um, as you can see, the floor, the floor was a big concern to me because of all the rain. So we basically had rain every day uh, coming coming from Fairbanks down to Washington. So uh, so the, the floor has held up really well. The uh, wheels, these are the original wheels that we had on the cart. Um, they've held up well, the axles have held up well. So really, um, everything now is concerned about has really, really done well. And this cart has gone through hell and back. I mean, if you guys research the road, it's really, really bad, it's bumpy, it's gravel, it's muddy. And so I'm very, very pleased uh, with that. I still wish it was a little bit cheaper, but um, for the size of our dog and the conditions that we went through in May and, and part of June to get back down to the lower 48, this cart has done really well. The only thing that I'm still uh, iffy about, so I had one crash and it was because of this stupid wheel um it wouldn't stay up so i'm i'm never going to use this as a cart to push my dog around it's only going to be on the bike so i'm actually going to take this off but the wheel just kept falling down um, during the ride so i don't know if it was because of how bouncy and rough the road was but it, it kept dropping down and one time it caught and caused me to have a little crash so um not too happy about that but i'm just going to undo this and pull this off so um so yeah so the updated review uh we're, we're thoroughly happy with this there'll be a link in the um description to the xl and the large version so take a look at it but if you guys have a large dog uh that weighs up to 100 pounds this is definitely going to be the card that you go with we would re went through a bunch of research and looked at carts and we're going to have to make our own until we found this one so so yeah so the, again this is the burley bark ranger xl and um we, again we'll have the link to it and I, I think it was like 700 bucks for this one so uh thanks again and hope you guys appreciate the review if you didn't see the first review go ahead and look that one up and you'll see the concerns and all that uh, again, I'm not going to break the cart down and fold it up for you, but it does fold up quite small for the size of the cart. Um, but you can go online and see Burley himself break it down. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, hope you like and uh, subscribe to this video. Thank you.